everyone, welcome on the 20 days yoga challenge, day 18. It's a special edition here because tonight is a full moon. So we're gonna practice some manifestation, kind of really applying your thoughts right here into the world. And of course, practicing a Chandra Namaskar, which is the moon salutation. So overall, it's a beginner flow. So no worries, you don't need any prep for this practice. Just move with your breath, no worries, I'm just going to break down all the poses. Even if you're completely new to yoga, you're all welcome. If you're having an injury, be mindful on your practice. Maybe don't put so much weight into the hands, for example. And yeah, just do your own level and ready to get started. Are you guys ready? I meet you straight sitting here into the mats so you can find a comfortable cross-legged pose here. Make sure to ground the two sitting bones. And once you have a comfortable seat, I invite you to completely relax the hands on the knees, to release any tension you may hold on your shoulders, and just to relax your face muscle. And you can start to close your eyes and start to connect here with your breath. Taking a long, deep inhalation through the nose, feeling your lungs. And exhale out, let it go. Take another deep breath in and a long exhale out. Just feeling here any sensation into your body. Feeling the moon energy of tonight. And it's a great night here for all your manifestation whatever you want to practice and achieve outside of the mat. Maybe more self-love, more letting go, anything that you really highly desire. Take a few more deep breaths. Relaxing a little bit more every time you exhale. Noticing your shoulder relaxing and your face muscle to completely relax. So manifest anything that you like. Just being the change that you want to see. And be ready here to receive tonight's energy. Let's all join the two palms together in front of your heart. Take another deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, slowly bow down your head. Namaste. And welcome for tonight's practice. And let's come straight here into a child pose here on the middle of the mat. So you can open up the two knees to the width of the mat, just sitting on the heels. And as you exhale, just walking the hands forward, finding a nice extension here to your back. So you can completely relax maybe the chin, maybe the forehead here to the mat. And continue to breathe deeply here to really find this deep connection with your body and your breath. Keep on breathing. Good, another deep breath here. Expand your breath. And as you inhale, let's come and up into table. You can close here the two knees, hip with distance. Bring the two hands right below the shoulder. Let's go, co-cat breathing. As you inhale, send the tailbone up. Open up the chest and look up. And as you exhale, round the spine, looking towards your navel. Inhale, arch the back. Look up, coming to your cow. And exhale, round the spine. Boom. Inhale, arch, look up, and exhale, round. Good, just linking here the movement with your breath, just a few more times at your own pace, warming up the spine. Last one. Good. And coming back to neutral tabletop, keeping the hips aligned with the knees, and as you exhale, walking the hands forward into a puppy pose, make sure to drop the chest as low as you can to find a deeper stretch here to your shoulders. Same again, you can either drop the chin or maybe the forehead on the mat, up to you. 
Good, relax a little bit more on each exhalation. One more deep breath. Good. And as you inhale, let's slowly come on up and let's take our first downward facing dog, tucking the toes, lifting the knees up and sending the hips all the way back and then up towards the ceiling. So you slowly straighten one leg after the other one. So feel free here to walk on the spot, bend one knee after the other one. You can play around here to your downward facing dog. Maybe it's the first stretch of the arm string of the day, so take your time to really paddle in, paddle out, just to let go of any tension to the back of the legs. Good, a few more deep breaths. Good. And on the next inhale, look in between the two hands and slowly walk the feet to the top of the mat. Halfway up, flat back, so head, um, head forward, roll the shoulder back, you can keep a slight bend on the knees. And as you exhale, dropping the chest into a right dog, you can grab into the opposite elbow and just sway side to side, just shaking the head yes, nodding the head no, releasing any tension here to your, to your back, to your head, and to your shoulders. Good, another deep breath. Good. And as you inhale, let's slowly roll the spine vertebra by vertebra all the way up and then reaching both arms up towards the sky and exhale hands to the heart center samastiti mountain pose and let's begin together our moon salutation shangra namaskar so here we're gonna come facing the long side of the mats so it depends on whatever you are on the position right now but if you look on your right it should be the back of the mat maybe your reverse if so it doesn't matter you're just gonna reverse in your head the left and the right, whenever I say so, all right? So just facing the long way, coming here to the top of the mat, still one foot distance from the edge. So then again, the right side is actually the back of your mat. Once you have it, you can keep the two feet hip with distance, just controlling here into your mountain pose, make sure to turn the pelvic in, completely relax the shoulders, and I invite you to close your eyes here for a moment. Take your time, just catching again your breath, Maybe you can already feel yourself shifting your weight from one foot to another one. Usually in full moon, we tend to lose a little bit of our balancing and our grounding, but that's completely fine. We are here to reconnect with our body. Take another deep breath. And then slowly open the two eyes. And as you inhale, bringing the two hands together to the Kali Mudra, so actually the three fingers are bending here, only the index and the thumb are here, and then inhale, reaching both arms up. Exhale, just rolling the shoulder back, keeping the two hands up. Inhale, coming on the top of the toes, reach up. And exhale, let go. Good. Inhale, reach up again. And exhale, gentle tilt here to the right side, very gentle. So thinking about not bending too much to the right, but more finding a nice extension here to the left side of the body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tilting to the left. Good. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, we're gonna open up to a goddess. So right foot step to by the side of the mat. Open up the two toes um, outside. And then open up the elbows by the side, really at the same level as the shoulder, finding a nice goddess pose. So dropping the pelvic in, rolling the shoulder back, trying to keep the chest as vertical as you can. So not leaning forward so much, but rather pushing the hips forward. Keep on breathing. This is amazing to walk into your inner energy here. Another deep breath. Good. And inhale, straight on the two legs, start pose. You can turn the left toes here parallel by the side of the mat and turn the right toes here by the back of the mat. Let's go Chukonasana. Inhale, sliding the chest to the right. And exhale, dropping the bottom hands, shifting the gaze up. So make sure here to push the hips forward and send the left shoulder to the back. Good, another deep breath. Good. Inhale deeply, and as we exhale, pyramid pose, you're gonna pivot the chest facing down, two hands on the mat, 
and just pivot the two feet. Inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale, drop in the chest closer to your legs. So here, if you cannot touch, it's completely fine. You can slightly cover up, maybe using a support uh, by bringing the two hands onto the knee. Keep on breathing. And exhale, bend the front knee, low lunge, stepping back, dropping the back knee and the back toes. Inhale, reach up, both arms up. And exhale to stay. So quick check here, make sure that the front knee is right above the ankle. You're gonna see me on the other side. Inhale again. And exhale, let's pivot the chest to the left, finding a skandasana side lunge. Good, so maybe you want to use a support, the two hands on the mat, maybe the two hands to the heart center. Make sure here to flex the left foot. Another deep breath. Good. And inhale, skandasana, back to the top of the mat, flexing here the right foot. And exhale to stay. Good, nice opening of the hip. Inhale again. And exhale, framing the foot, pivot the chest to the left, back to low lunge, dropping the back knee and the back toes. Inhale, chest up. And exhale, melting the hips down. Good, another deep breath. Good. And exhale, hands on the mat, pyramid pose. You can step and straighten both legs here. Inhale to find length. And exhale as you fold. Good. So you can do your own level here, maybe resting the two hands onto your thigh, maybe onto the knee, but make sure to lengthen the spine, rolling the shoulder back away from the ears. Good. Inhale, Trikonasana, you can pivot here the back foot by the side of the mat, left hand by the side of the shin bone, and inhale, open up the right arm up. Good. So using the core to hold the chest, making a beautiful line with the two hands. And inhale, come on up. Exhale, goddess. Bending here the two knees, finding another goddess here. Keep on breathing. Good. So tucking the pelvic inward, elbows by the same level as the shoulders. Another deep breath. Good. And as we inhale, we're going to step to the back of the mat, reaching both arms up. And exhale, tilting here to the right side, side stretch. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, tilting here to the left. Inhale up again. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Samastiti Montebo. So this is half of the Shonhara Namaskar Moon Salutation. Now ready to go on the left. Are you ready, guys? So everyone meet me again at the back of the mat. And as you inhale, reaching both arms up. Exhale, tilting here to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tilt to the right. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open up, go this pose. So left foot step, big step here. Open up the elbows, rolling the shoulder back. Keep on breathing. Make sure to keep the chest as vertical as you can. Good. And inhale, straight and start pose. Le left toes to the top of the mat. Let's find a trikonasana. Inhale, sliding the chest to the left. Exhale, dropping the bottom hand and shifting the gaze up towards the ceiling. So making a beautiful line with the two hands, using the core to hold the chest. The right shoulder is actually pressing back uh, towards the back of the mat. Good. Inhale again. Exhale, pyramid, pyramid. Dropping the two hands on the mat, tilting the back leg and finding the two knees straight. Exhale as you drop the chest closer to your leg. Good, another deep breath here. Bring you a little bit deeper into the stretch. Good. And inhale, bend the front knee, finding a low lunge, dropping the back knee and the back toes. Inhale, chest up. And exhale, melting the hips down. Nice, everyone. Just finding a nice opening here to the hip flexor. Good. Inhale again. And exhale, hands on the mat. Inhale, pivot the chest to the right, finding a skandasana, side lunge. Hands to the heart center, maybe the two hands as a support. Make sure to flex here the right foot. Good. Inhale, skandasana here to the back of the mat. Flexing here the left leg. 
good. And inhale, pivot the chest to the right, low lunge, bending, um, dropping the back knee and the back toes. Inhale, reach up and exhale to stay. Good. Inhale again. Exhale, pyramid, hands on the mat. You can straighten both legs and drop the chest closer to your leg. Another deep breath here. Good. And as you inhale, let's uh, turn the back foot here by the side of the mat. Chukonasana, open up the left arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Good. Keep on breathing. And inhale, slowly coming up. Exhale, goddess, bending the two knees, rolling the shoulder back, finding here this power from the hips. Keep on breathing here. Good. Another deep breath. And as you inhale, let's step again to the top of the mat. Inhale, reaching both arms up. And exhale, tilting here to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tilting to the right. Inhale up again, and exhale, hands to the heart center. This was one round of the Chandra Namaskar Moon Salutation. Ready to go a little bit faster. We're gonna do one breathing, one movement with some pose in the middle. Just follow my step, everything's gonna be fine. And then let's begin. As you inhale, reaching both arms up, Kali Mudra. Exhale, tilting to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, tilting to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, goddess, open up. Two breaths to, to the goddess. That's one. And two. Inhale, start, po start pose. And exhale, trikonasana to the right side. One full breath. Inhale again. Exhale, pyramid, two hands on the mat and straighten both legs. One breath. Inhale again. And exhale, low lunge, bend the front knee, drop the knee, the toes, and then reach up. Exhale, hands on the mat. Inhale, skandhasana, pivot the chest to the left. Exhale, to stay. Inhale, skandhasana, back to the top of the mat. Exhale, to stay. Inhale, low lunge, pivot to the left, drop the back knee and the toes, just up. And exhale, hands on the mat. Good, inhale again. Exhale, pyramid, straighten both legs and drop the chest closer to your leg. One more breath. Good. And inhale, trikonasana, open up the right arm all the way up. Good, use the core to hold the chest. One more breath. And inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, goddess, bending the two knees, hands by the side. One free deep breath here, finding here this energy. And as you inhale, step into the back of the mat, reaching up. Exhale, tilting to the right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. And exhale, hands to the heart center. And let's go straight to the left side, ready? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tilt to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, goddess. Big step, bending the two knees, elbows by the side. Two breaths here on the goddess. Finding a nice grounding here from the heels. Good. And inhale, start pose. Exhale, trikonasana, left side, dropping the bottom hand, open up the right arm up. One more breath. Inhale again. Exhale, pyramid, framing the foot, turning the back foot forward, and exhale as you drop the chest closer to your leg. Another deep breath. And as you inhale, low lunge, dropping the back knee and the back toes, chest up. And exhale, hands on the mat. Inhale, pivot the chest to the right, skandhasana, side lunge. Exhale to stay. Inhale, skandhasana to the back of the mat, flexing the left foot. Exhale to stay. Good. Inhale, low lunge, pivot the chest to the right, drop the back knee and the toes, chest up. Exhale, hands on the mat. 
Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pyramid pose, straight on both legs and dropping the chest closer to your leg. Good. Inhale, Trikonasana, turning the left foot 90 degree, open up the left arm up. Good. And inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, good as final one, guys. So make sure to ground the two heels on the mat, locking the pelvic in, keeping the chest as vertical as you can. We can play around on this last good expose, maybe bouncing side to side, just walking within your energy. One more deep breath. And as you inhale, big step here to the top of the mat, reaching up, Kali Mudra. Exhale, tilting to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, tilting to the right. Inhale up. And exhale, hands to the heart center, Samastiti. Mountain pose. Hope you guys doing well. Well done for your Chandra Namaskar. Sun salutation. Let's come back facing here the top of the mat and let's take one vinyasa at your own pace. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, hands to the mat. As you inhale, either step or jump to your high plank. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin, maybe chaturanga. Inhale, chest up, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Everyone, you can drop the two knees on the mat and exhale into a well-deserved child pose here. You can rest the forehead on the mat. We will take another deep breath. Just take your time to reconnect with your body, with your breath. Just noticing this energy flowing up and down. Maybe noticing your body temperature rising. Good, another deep breath. And on the next inhale, I meet you all to the downward facing dog, back of the mat. Good, keep on walking on the spot, really adding any motion that feels good into your down dog. Good. And as you inhale, right leg up, three legged dog high in the air. Good, so make sure here to press the chest closer to your leg, keeping the shoulder square. Let's bend the knee and open up the hip. So right hip is on top of the left one. Good. And as you exhale, gently step in between the two hands, keeping here the back knee up. Take your time to find your balance and inhale, lift up the chest, both arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart center, high lunge. Good, keep on breathing. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale, framing the foot, two hands on the mat, let's move into half moon pose. So slowly shift all the weight forward. So let me come forward. Took. Right hand stay right underneath your gaze. Left hand on the hip, let's pivot up the chest to the left. Up all the way to the left. So take your time, it's a balancing pose, quite challenging here. And whenever you're ready, you can start to slowly shift the gaze up and extend the left uh, arm up and overhead. Keep on breathing, half moon pose. Quite a challenging one to practice your grounding and your intuition. Good. One more deep breath. Good. And exhale, slowly release to warrior two, bending the front knee and bringing the two hands by the side. Exhale, as you melt the hips down, make sure to keep the front knee right above the ankle. Good. Inhale, let's move into high lunge, turning the chest forward, lifting the back heel and reaching both arms up. And exhale, hands on the mat, ready to take your vinyasa. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, chest up. Open up the heart. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take your time to catch your breath. Just breathe deeply. Walking on the spot. If I work, we get ready for the left side. Ready, guys? And as you inhale, left leg up, three legged dog, high in the air. You can bend the knee and open up the hip. So left hip on top of the right one. Keep on pressing the chest closer to your leg. And as you exhale, high lunge, step in between the two hands, keep the back knee up. And whenever you find the balance, lifting the chest. Exhale, melting down. So rolling the shoulder back. Good. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Just walking here into the quad. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, framing the foot, hand on the mat, moving into half moon. So take your time here to slowly shift the weight forward. Left hand right underneath your gaze. Uh, left hand underneath your gaze, right hand onto the hips. Let's pivot here. Whoop, the body to the right. And then eventually start to slowly shift the gaze up and reach here, the right arm up. So completely fine if you fall down like me. So not rushing any pose, just take your time walking into your grounding half moon pose. You get it? Right, so take your time. The gaze up is the most challenging version here. Another deep breath. Good. And as you exhale, release into warrior two, bending the front knee, two hands by the side. And exhale as you melt the hips down. Another deep breath. So strong and fierce, fierce warrior. Inhale, high lunge, pivot the chest forward, reaching both arms up, back heel is up. And exhale, hands on the mat. Last vinyasa. Inhale, step back, high lunge, um, high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, chest up, open up the chest. And exhale, downward facing dog. Go. And on the next inhale, you can slowly look in between the two hands and hop, crossing the feet, so you can find a seat on the mat. And of course, a little bit of Navasana, boat pose. So two hands here by the side, legs maybe 90 degrees. Make sure to roll the shoulder back. <sighs> Open up the heart, connecting here with your fire. Keep on breathing. If you want to take a step further and you have more energy tonight, feel free to take it as a V shape. So squeezing the legs together, rolling the shoulder back. <sighs> For three, for two, almost there, last one. And as you exhale, you can slowly release the legs. Find a sitting pose here, Dandasana on the mat. Check it out, check it out. As you find a sitting pose, make sure to find here the two, ground, uh, the two sitting bones and flexing, flexing the feet so you can squeeze the legs. Find here some grounding on the mat. And as you inhale, lift up the chest, reaching both arms up. And exhale, sit it forward, bend, start to slowly bend from the hips, leaning forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, going a little bit further. And as you exhale, continue your journey here. So here you don't have to crunch down to touch the toes, it doesn't matter. If this is enough for you, you can stay here. Otherwise, you can all have a slight bend here onto the knees, so you can open up the chest, reach as far as you can, and maybe just resting the hands by the side. So we don't care here about touching the toes. We really want to reach the stomach closer to your thigh, eventually the chest, and then one day maybe the head. But touching your toes is not the final destination here. It's not even the goal at all. So finding here a nice forward bend, just a nice and deep stretch to the back of the legs. Just completely release. Don't overstretch here, just simply allow yourself to fall forward. Just enjoying the stretch to the back of the legs and reconnect to your breath, let it go and surrender completely on each exhalation. Another deep breath. Good. And as you inhale, let's slowly come on up. Good, exhale, you can release the two hands on the mat, counter pose, up plank, Bringing one hand distance to the back, turning the fingertips towards your body, rolling the shoulder back, and as you inhale, lift up the chest, pointing the toes and drop the head on the back. Good, another deep breath. Nice. And exhale, let's slowly release. You can shake it out, shake it out, shaking the two legs. And let's find here a Titali Asana, so two soles of the feet tuck together. Make sure to scoop the hips back to find again the two sit bones. And let's grab onto our toes, roll the shoulder back, inhale, chest up. And as you exhale, you can bend here the elbows, slightly leaning forward, going one last time a little bit deeper into your hips. Inhale, find length. And exhale, continue to dive. Maybe you want to rest the two hands in front of you. Really up to you, just let it go and just let the weight of the chest and the head just doing the work here. 
another deep breath here. Titaliasana, butterfly pose. And as you inhale, slowly come up. You can close the two knees and kind of give yourself a very big hug. So hugging the two knees, maybe dropping the head inside. Just connect with your breath. And then eventually, let's find here a line down on the mat. You can slowly pull yourself all the way down, hugging one more time your knees into your chest. Just apanasana, rolling the spine side to side. Just let yourself completely release the lower back and the shoulders. And then eventually dropping the two arms as a T-shape by your side. If you don't have enough space, you can come here into a cactus. And exhale, dropping the two knees to the right side, looking above the left shoulder. And doing a spinal twist. Keep on breathing. Good. And inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, dropping both knees here to the left and looking above the right shoulder. Final deep breath. And as you inhale, coming back to the center, let's hug one last time. The two knees lifting the shoulders off the ground like you're a little ball here. And as you exhale, you can straighten the legs on the mat and open up the two arms up overhead. Let's give our body a final deep stretch here. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out through the mouth. <sighs> Let's go one more time. Deep breath in. Just stretch your body. And long exhale out. <sighs> Good. And eventually, let's slowly roll onto one side. And then find a comfortable cross-legged pose here on the middle of the mat. You can bring the two hands to the heart center. Take your time to notice your breath, to notice your body sensation, and to notice here your mind. Is it focused? Is it calm? Coming again to the manifestation that you set up at the beginning of the practice, using the full moon energy of tonight to manifest outside of this world. Take another deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, slowly bow down your head. Namaste, everyone. And welcome for, uh, well done, sorry, for tonight's practice. Full moon salutation, well done, hope you like this one. And well done as well for the day 18 of the yoga challenge. We almost there, two more days to go. So it's around the end. If you haven't catch up the first session, you can always come back to my IGTV. Otherwise I also upload them on YouTube. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you to join in with me. Have a wonderful evening. And maybe you become a werewolf tonight, who knows? Bisous, see you next time.